Welcome to this video series looking at new features for Emulate 3D 2025. We'll be uploading feature spotlight videos for the next few weeks in the lead up to the release on March 31st. Emulate 3D 2025 has huge new capabilities which will help you build, optimize, virtually commission and showcase your industrial automation systems. Let's have a look at some of the major features included. The first big change you'll notice is the new Unreal rendering engine. This comes with significant performance improvements, allowing you to smoothly work on larger and more detailed systems. With one quick toggle, you can turn that graphics up to maximum and create high quality renders straight from within Emulate 3D. Stop saving and commit to commits with the new native Git version control support. This lets you create and revisit a history of a model or of a catalog. See who changed what and when and create an audit trail and build collaboratively with your colleagues. The new test runner then allows you to run automated tests for every commit that you make. This is presented as a dashboard of pass and fail and KPIs alongside customizable log data. This is going to give you confidence in your changes, especially when you're collaborating as part of a team on a build. Test Runner can test more than just inbuilt emulate 3D scripts. Define scenarios that put external code through automated testing. And this can be PLC code, robot programs, warehouse management systems, whatever emulate 3D can connect to. You can define actions like operator interactions or simulated device faults, and then set assertions within the model which are going to verify that your controls has reacted correctly and with the correct alarms and diagnostics. Test Runner can even run as an external application, running Emulate 3D behind the scenes without that user interface. This lets you quickly run your tests with every code change. The external Test Runner application is ideal for system optimization as well. We can compare layout variations against each other and against a variety of different order schedules. In this case, the test we're trying to make is which system performs best. And the inbuilt optimizer makes this type of resource sizing easy. We can specify a goal and which parameters can change. And then the meta heuristics inside Test Runner will create and run test to create the best model solution. And we can model at a larger scale than ever before using factory test. Emulate 3D's multi-model technology lets us split out and synchronize Emulate 3D models across multiple computers. We can then combine the entire factory into a single view with NVIDIA Omniverse powered aggregation and visualization. Emulate 3D 2025 provides improved co-simulation with Siemens PLC Sim Advanced and Rockwell's Logic Echo, and improved connectivity to other controllers such as Omron. Emulate 3D can now co-simulate with a wide variety of multi-physics software using FMI, including MATLAB Simulink, MapleSoft, and ANSYS. This is going to allow users to add more detail for many different applications, from advanced thermochemistry within tanks and pipes catalog, through to tension models for web paths. Note that Emulate 3D's internal, industrial, and gaming physics engines will allow you to solve most mechanical problems without this FMI connection. We've made new improvements to dynamic motors, chains, hoses, folding, and plastic joints for these internal solvers. Device emulation allows for higher fidelity virtual commissioning for things like I.O. modules, drives, and more. Users can create their own or use the Allen Bradley I.O. modules and velocity drive catalogs. These allow you to satisfy that SIP class one connection and test deployable controls code without inhibiting any modules. Combined with improvements to control panels and wiring schematics, this allows you to bring everything together in one place. We can test the electrical, the mechanical, and the controls within Emulate 3D. A large number of catalog updates will arrive alongside Emulate 3D 2025. New autonomous case handling robots have been added, amongst many other improvements to the AMR framework. Both simulation-ready smart conveyors and controls testing-ready conveyors have seen major updates. The new Tanks and Pipes toolbar makes pipe work generation easy, and new robots are on the package manner for Yaskawa, Universal Robots, Stably, and more. And this is only touching the surface of catalog updates. Emulate 3D 2025 has seen many minor improvements too. Performance enhancements have been added to rendering, to mechanisms, to catalog logic, and the new performance profile lets users optimize their own custom logic too. CAD import has seen major investment, including support for new formats such as JT, NX, CATIA, and more. New QuitLogic widgets and more intelligent error message tracing lets users create and customize simulation behavior. 
And a new user forum is being launched to build a community for our users to ask questions and share content. This is on top of our help console, which has also seen significant improvements and contains thousands of videos and tutorials. We can't wait for you to try out Emulate 3D 2025. If you want to see more details, then check out the Feature Spotlight videos in this playlist.